Okay, chat. <clears throat> so we're back with the latest on P. Diddy, all right? All right, so let's start with what we know, all right? We know that there's been a room, there's been rumors for years on P. Diddy, on his parties, on his lifestyle, and on his sexuality, all right? We know that um, Cassie um, was going to come out with a tell-all book, right, um, about a lot of the things that she's been through and witnessed um, with her, I mean, been, you know, with her being around and being involved with Diddy, all right? And after that, right after that, she was paid, all right? And since then, she's been quiet, all right? We know that Diddy's houses were raided, all right? Recently, within the last few days, Diddy's houses were raided, all right? But since then, we want to know what's been going on since then, all right? All right. Now, since then, now on the day Diddy's houses were raided, right, while the police were going through all this shit, tearing this shit up, going through his houses, going through every nook, crack, and cranny of Diddy's personal business, Diddy was hanging around the airport with this guy, all right? Now, you may be looking at this and wondering, what's the big deal? Okay, Diddy's hanging around the airport with a young, white, college basketball player, right? Now, he was a basketball player for Syracuse, right? This is him in uniform, but he's not a basketball player anymore, all right? As a matter of fact, Diddy was hanging around the airport with this guy, and this guy is actually Diddy's drug mule, all right? Here is P. Diddy right here. And this is this guy. His name is Brendan Paul. Now, this is Diddy's alleged drug mule, all right? He was arrested at the airport, actually. Uh, and this is crazy because they were together. Now, Diddy wasn't arrested, but this guy, Brendan Paul, was, all right? He was arrested because he was found in, to be in possession of uh, cocaine and uh, marijuana gummies, was it? This is the arrest footage of this guy right here. Let's check this out. I see the green and yellow right here. That's how you know this is local police. So this is not a federal. This is not federal charges that he's that he's facing. These are, are local. There's going to be local charges that he's going to stay uh, face uh, with Florida. All right, what's crazy is the craziest thing about this to me is that he was actually caught with P. Diddy, right? At the time he was arrested and he was arrested with cocaine to be in possession of cocaine. That's not a good look for P. Diddy because P. Diddy is being accused of a lot of things to do with drugs and cocaine and, you know, giving lacing drinks and giving other people co cocaine and stuff like that. Uh, but this guy here, Brendan Paul, I mean, it's just it's crazy to see that when, you know, this guy was a a basketball player for Syracuse. I even have um, a few of his clips pulled up right here. Now, these are his highlights. He has a pretty good shot. Look, like, this guy could have been the next Curry. He has, a, he has a decent shot. This guy could have been the next Curry, for all we know. So it makes you wonder, like, you know what I mean? How do you go from that to, you know what I mean, something like this, you know? And, and he's, like I say, he's only 25 years old. So that's, like, in a such a uh, short time span, you wonder how you go from, you know, being on the court, um, looking like, you know what I mean, with a promising career, probably to go pro to... Um, being Diddy's drug mule, and if you pull up some of these other pictures of him, you can tell that, you know, he starts to look very different um, than he did here when you pull up some of these other pictures. You know, when you see him here, he doesn't look, he doesn't look like, you know, when you see him here, he he doesn't look like he's been on the court for Syracuse, right? You see this guy here, you wouldn't think he's a, that he was a basketball player just um, a few years ago, all right? And if you even go here, um, this is a him at the time of his arrest. This is a mugshot. 
And this is him, um, I guess, in one of his yearbook photos, right? Basketball official photos um, as a Syracuse basketball player. All right. The guy just looks um, completely different. All right. Um, and that is a tale to, to, to go and to show people um, how drugs can affect, you know what I mean? Not only you, um, you know, physically, but also mentally, emotionally, um, and with the law. Uh, you know who else has been vocal? Who has, else who has something to say? Stevie J. Now, he was not saying something um, to Puff Daddy. He's actually saying something in defense of Puff Daddy. Now, Stevie J has something to say to 50 Cent. Now, 50 Cent, if you guys don't know, 50 Cent has been trolling nonstop about this whole thing. He's been mentioning everyone from Jay-Z to P. Diddy. 50's been covering this whole thing. Like, anybody seen Jay? LOL. Puff said the ain't answering his phone. And I don't know what Jay-Z has to do with this. Is 50 trying to tell us something? Here is Jay-Z, last reported scene, waving that puppy jet. What's 50 trying to tell us? Is he trying to tell us something? I think 50's even coming out. If you guys don't know, 50's working on an actual documentary. Movie something. You know 50, he's always up to some shit. 50 really does not like P. Diddy, all right? He really has it out for this guy. 50 is loving everything he's seeing. This is, I want to say this is um, the cover. This is going to be the cover to it. Diddy Do It is the title. And it says official docuseries coming soon, all right? It's going to be a series. 50 said this is going to break records when this drops. GLG, Green Light Gang, you know the vibes. So Stevie J has something to say to 50 Cent. Let's check it out. Curtis, what's good, man? You and your feelings about Daphne? Is she with gang them? Or is it that you sucking little rod dick? <laughs> However it go, I want you to fade, nigga. Fuck all that. Since it's entertainment, let me beat the shit out of you on TV or something. Don't duck that. I'm calling you out. What you want to do, Curtis? Curtis! Now, guys, if you don't know, uh, 50 Cent has been taunting Stevie J as well. Like I said, he's been mentioning everyone's name from top to bottom. Um, but Stevie J is firing back. Now, fade, nigga. Daphne, is she with gang them? Stevie J you says something right here. Daphne, is she with gang them? He says, You and your feelings about Daphne. You and your feelings about Daphne, is she with gang them? Now, if you guys don't know, this is very interesting because Daphne, he mentions this name. If you guys don't know, Daphne is P. Diddy's woman, right? If she, guys, she has been mentioned as P. Diddy's sex worker. Let's go to this paperwork right here. Look, Young Miami, which is crazy, by the way. We're going to get into that. Jade and Daphne Joy were paid a monthly fee to work as Mr. Combs' sex workers. And received a payment via wire transfer. Guys, if you don't know who Daphne Joy is, I'm going to show you right now. Daphne Joy is 50 Cent's baby's mom. Look. Chat. This is Daphne Joy. This is 50 Cent's baby mom. She's foined, by the way. They even have a child together. Yeah, this is, this is their son right here. So I think this is why 50 Cent is mad. This is why 50 Cent is really mad at P. Diddy. I think this is why 50 Cent is making a whole docu-series. 50 Cent is butthurt, chat. Let's be honest. 50 Cent is butthurt that his baby mom left him and his son to go be Diddy's sex worker. Facts. Chat, is that not what happened? She left a happy home, right? This is 50 Cent's baby mom, Daphne. She left a happy home. To go be a sex worker for P. Diddy. That's facts. Well, it's not proven yet. This is still alleged. This is in the paperwork. Right? But this is why 50 Cent is hurt. Now, Chad, I'd be hurt too. Right? Now, this is a loving family. Beautiful family, by the way. We, Chad, we don't even see 50 Cent smile that often. This is 50 Cent smiling. This is the first time 50 is happy. And she leaves and take 50 cents happiness. Look.
Look, chat. This is why 50 Cent mad, chat. This nasty work, chat. This is why 50 Cent's really mad. 50 Cent's baby mom left the happy home to go beat Diddy's sex worker. That's facts. This is Daphne Joy. This is 50 Cent's baby mom right here, chat. This is why 50 is really mad, chat. She left this, 50 and her son, to go be with a nigga that got weed socks on. With flip flops. And she's not even the main chick. Chat, this nasty word. Yo, Chad, would you be mad, Chad, if your woman left you, left you and your family? Chad, would you be mad? Would you go after that guy? Or would you talk it up to the game? Now, this is 50 Cent. You, like, we, you know, you figure 50 Cent can get any woman, you know, but this is nasty work. It's still going to feel some type of way. Yeah, this nasty work, chat. The side by side. This is why 50 Cent is really mad, chat. This is why 50 Cent hates. This is why 50 hates P Diddy's guts. This is why P, this is why P, P Diddy. This is why 50 want to see P Diddy locked up forever. Right. This is why 50 is making a whole docu series. This is why 50 wants to be the one to put P Diddy away. Actually, uh, 50 Cent is actually seeking custody of his, his son now because this came out. 50's all mad. 50's going at, look, 50's on, um, 50's calling her a sex worker. Look, here it is right here. I didn't know you was a sex worker, you little sex worker. LOL. Chat, he's talking to his baby moms, chat. She left this happy home to go be Diddy's side piece. She's not even the main piece. Diddy got a lot of pieces to his puzzles. Pause. Yo, don't did his, his new baby mom look just like her? Diddy got a thing for them Asian chicks. She bad, by the way. Yeah, man. That's why 50's mad. 50's trying to get custody of his son now. We know he, he never tried to get custody of his other son. Right? The son he abandoned. I think his name is Marquise. Looks just like him, by the way. As a matter of fact, 50 don't want nothing to do with that nigga. He actually abandoned that nigga and said he don't even claim him. But this one's he's fighting for. Yo, so Stevie, Stevie mad, man. Stevie mad. Stevie like, Stevie want to fight. Stevie want to fight. Now, Stevie was, his, uh, Stevie's name was involved in some paperwork, too. Right here. Crazy picture, by the way. They say this is Stevie right here. Chad, this is like Stevie J to you. This pic is crazy. Let's say this is a screenshot of a video. Right? Now, the person, uh, Mr. Jones, right, who's in the lawsuit, he says this is video of Stevie J. Now, this is just a screenshot that they put in the paperwork. But allegedly, this is video of Stevie J. The Stevie J says it's not him. I, I don't even want to look at the picture. I don't want to look at the picture hard enough to figure it out if it is him. Uh, it kind of looks like him, but, oh, man, this is nasty work. Now, it says, Mr. Combs used access to Stevie J and his knowledge of Mr. Jones' admiration of Stevie J to groom and entice Mr. Jones to engage in homosexuality. Mr. Combs went so far as to share a video of Stevie J anally penetrating a Caucasian male without a condom. This was done to ease Mr. Jones' anxiety concerning homosexuality. According to Mr. Combs, this is normal practice in the music industry. Look, even Stevie J is doing it. Mr. Combs informed Mr. Jones that he had engaged in sexual intercourse with rapper Five, R&B singer Six, and Stevie J. Now, if you guys don't remember, rapper Five was who was rapper Five, guys? I'm starting to forget. There's so many names wrapped up in this. R&B singer Six was Usher. Rapper Five was Meek Mill. I think that was Meek Mill. Yeah, that's why Stevie J is. Uh, that's why 50 Cent has been taunting Stevie J ever since this this came out. 50 Cent has been taunting Stevie J. So Stevie J, um, he he's he's saying he wants to fight now. He wants Curtis, to fight. Good, he wants to man. fight fifty. You and, and your uh, 
I don't know. You know, 50's a jokester, man. You know, 50, 50's a big troller. 50's a jokester. So I'm sure 50's going to have something to come back with. I'm not sure if 50's going to meet him in the streets for a fight or meet him in the ring for a fight. All that. Since it's entertainment, let me beat the shit out of you on TV or something. Don't duck that. I'm calling you out. What you want to do, Curtis? Curtis! Yeah, I'm not sure if 50's going to meet him in the ring for a fight or meet him in the streets for a fight. Um, but that actually would be would be a, a good way to settle this kind of stuff. They're both uh, about the same size. Um, Stevie J is not afraid of Fifty. Um, I don't think Fifty is afraid of Stevie J. Um, so uh, I'm not sure that would be not wouldn't be a good idea to do. You know, Fifty's all about his money, all about making a bag, all about putting on a show. Uh, that would be a great way to uh, capitalize off of um, off all of this mess. All right. Now there were a few other names that was brought up. As we saw, Young Miami's name was brought up. Now, Young Miami, hold on. Young Miami's name was brought up. Let's go to. Now, it says right here, Young Miami, Jade, and Daphne Joy were paid a monthly fee to work as Mr. Combs' sex work and received a monthly payment via wire transfer so was young miami actually diddy sex worker too chat wait mr jones was scared but luckily he didn't have a hundred dollar bill so mr combs waited a little later to do coke with young miami what sex workers in mr jones bed the morning after being drugged all right, Mr. Jones, like I said, Mr. Jones is um, the defendant in this. He's the one that filed this case. All right. Um, these are, this is his evidence. It says Mr. Combs waited a little later to do coke with Young Miami. What? We got to check Young Miami. We got to see where Young Miami been. We got to check Young Miami page. You know, Young Miami always posting. Look, okay, here we go, right here. Daphne Joy issues son's father 50 cent a message. Oh, okay. Daphne responded right now. This new right here. What'd she say? Everything is a joke to you until our safety is compromised, which is happening now. You are wreaking real havoc, frenzy, and chaos onto people's lives. How would you feel if Sire was the one in handcuffs for nothing? Ooh. So she's standing on business for Diddy. Oh, 50 going to be pissed about this. We moved to New York to give you the opportunity to be a father to your son. And you saw him 10 times out of the two years that we lived one mile away from you. I am tired of upholding and protecting an image to our son that you have never ever, that you have never even earned. Let's put the real focus on your true evil actions of raping me. Wow. What? Whoa. And physically abusing me. You are no longer my oppressor and my God will handle you from this point on. You have permanently damaged the last hope I had for you as a father to preserve our family with these last and final false claims made against me. You have broken our hearts for the last time. The last and final time. Wow. She says, I am deeply hurt by the lies in Rodney Jones' lawsuit. The claim that I am a sex worker is 100% false in character assassination. I am retaining an attorney to explore all legal remedies against both Rodney and his attorney. She says, I, she says, I wouldn't wish this on any woman. God hears me and all that matters. Yeah, man. 50 messing up, man. 50 is a big troll. 50, now 50 got some claims against him. This chat, this is getting crazy and crazier by the moment. This gets crazy and crazier by the moment. Wow, this is. Wow. Oh, man. Okay, so where were we? Young Miami? Where is Young Miami? Anybody know where Young Miami is? Roll call. Where's Young Miami? Anybody know? We got to go check Young Miami. Here we go, right here. I follow Young Miami? I got to follow. Okay, follow Young Miami. Got some stories up. What's this? 20 minutes ago. 
Is she promoting music? Is Young Miami promoting music? Wait. Hasn't she just been accused of cocaine and running cocaine and being a sex worker? Well, this actually would be the, the best time to capitalize right now, right? A lot of people going to her page, probably searching her stuff. Is she really running music right now? What's this? Young Miami really running promo right now? Yo, look at the comments. Girl, you have kids, sex worker, cocaine, transporting drugs, you bugging. Pink Coke, white wasn't hit no more. Coke and sex worker is crazy, gang. Yo, what? Yo, this is crazy promo while you while you in paperwork. Yo, 2024 is wild, chat. You know what? Um, Young Miami wasn't the only name that stood out in this paperwork. Right? There was another name, a huge name that stood out in this paperwork. Where is it? An even bigger name, chat. Where is it? Here we go right here. Chat, this is the biggest name and it's not even highlighted. Defendants Lucen Charles Grange, Ethiopia Habtermerium. I don't even know who that is. Combs Global, Motown Records, Love Records, and Universal Music Group directs, controls, and participates in the activities of the enterprise in a variety of ways as set forth herein, including as the employer, parent company, sponsor, and respondent superior of defendants Sean Combs, Justin Combs, Christina Karam, and other current and former members of the defendants associate and staff. Throughout the relevant period, defendants Lucian, Gra Lucian Ch Charles Grange and the rest of these guys oversaw the marketing. Chat, what I'm trying to get at is Lucian Charles Grange. You know, you guys know who this is? Lucian Charles Grange is the, the CEO of uh, Universal. And he's been, in, he's getting into some deep shit. Since his name has been brought up in that paperwork chat, look. Rumors are circulating that Universal Music Group CEO Lucian Grange took part in having young Justin Bieber drugged and R-worded repeatedly by pedophiles in the music industry. Chat, there are some bigger names that are bigger than Diddy. There are bigger fish than Diddy in this whole saga. This thing is, is heating up. This is only heating up. It's just interesting to see how this is going to turn up. What involvement Taylor Swift might have with Lucian Granger's pedophile sex trafficking ring that's currently under investigation in the P. Diddy lawsuit? Or was she the victim of a pedo Hollywood machine too? Lots of images of Taylor Swift being really close to uh, him are circling the internet. Sometimes people are close to these guys and don't know though, right? Don't really know what's going on. We saw a lot of that with Epstein. There was a lot of names on that list um, that really did, that were on flight logs, but they didn't know that what was going on, right? They didn't have anything to do with children being hurt and harm and stuff like that. Who knows? Taylor may just be caught up in it. You know, I mean, may not be caught up in it. She's just taking a picture with the guy and, you know, it just looks, you know, just bad timing. But um, I don't know. Yeah, Lucent Grange, man, um, it's not looking good for this guy. Like, but he's a big CEO exec, big time CEO exec, um, Lucian Grange. Um, his attorneys um, are saying, um, attorneys for Universal Music Group CEO Lucian Grange fired back at the lawsuit, which claims he had labeled, uh, which claims he and the label aided and abetted Sean Diddy Combs in his alleged sexual abuse, saying the accusations are so offensively false that they plan to seek legal penalties against the lawyer who filed them. All right, so of course they're going to be denying them and saying these. Um, that these um, are false claims, but um, who knows, right? But his name was brought up in this, um, and it's not looking too good for, um, yeah, for Lucian Grange either. It's not looking too good for him, all right? Um, 
says allegedly P. Diddy was doing Lucian Granger's dirty work by running a sex trafficking ring to blackmail high profile celebrities and politicians. People are saying this is linked to Israel Mossad and that they have dirt on Donald Trump. It's like chat, every time you blink, there's another name that comes up in this. Right? How deep does this rabbit hole go? Right? That's what we want to know. That's what we're trying to figure out. That's what we are going to be um, waiting to see. Right? How deep does this rabbit hole go? Um, as always, until then, guys, make sure you are here. We're on 300. If you guys haven't already, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. We will be covering this. That is the latest on this whole P. Diddy saga. There are new names involved in this. Like I said, Lucian Grange. We've seen Donald Trump's name. Right? There are um, a lot of new names that's involved in this. We've seen Daphne Joy just, just responded back to 50 Cent, saying that 50 Cent um, R-worded her and physically abused her. There's a lot, Chad, every time you blink, there's somebody going down, right? There's claims against Justin Bieber that Justin Bieber was, was R-worded by um, pedos in the industry. All right, Chad, this is, I mean, buckle up, Chad. I think this is going to be take over the year. I think this whole Diddy story is going to take over the whole year. Um, and I'm interested, I'm interested to see um, just how deep this rabbit hole goes, all right? All right, what do we have next?